we got all our marbles. In other words, Tom Stafford thinks that they're in good shape again. Yeah, sure coming down to that ground, I'll tell you. I, I don't know, but I hope we never find it again. <laughs> They must be talking of the ascent stage, which they have now lost. And I tell you, that was wild, babe, and it wasn't the death because you were an egg. That was eggs. Yeah, why did then? We that's where we're gonna stage. Okay, babe, I've got good eggs and everything's looking good. I got the attitude set, so if we have to switch, we'll be all right. Okay, four zero seven on monitor until it burn. We're at four minutes. Okay, four minutes. Well, that's hard to do with helmet clothes on. Give me a monitor, ascent pressure one and two. Let's take Take another look at it. That's looking good. Engine stop push buttons. All reset and abort board stage reset. Okay. Push buttons reset. X translation. Uh, I mean, uh, X translation for jets. The SAGs they're talking gone. about is abort guidance this system. I'm not reading them, so if they don't make it, you got to tell me, huh? All right, there. Calm down, down now. Looking good. Got it down. Tell the go. Okay, Tom, if, if we've been at 170 feet, if we got more than 170 feet per second to go, we're on RCS. Then we'll RCS uh, maximum 55 seconds, but we will advise. So, we're going to go at greater than 170. We're RC back, RCS back to, uh, to our pad Delta V, okay? Which is going to be right at P40 there. That's R looking good. RCS is reaction control system. It's that system okay, of... And our pad delta V is 220.9, so if we burn less than 170 feet per second, or if we, uh, we don't get up to 170 feet per second ago, we'll want to burn it back to about, about uh, 220. Okay? Let's get over 100, let's get in that 170 feet per second region. Okay, push your inverter number one closed, circuit breaker. It's about two minutes now after the firing of that engine. Control, AELD closed. Reaction well, control you, system is a... Them again, going backwards, you know that? Look at that reel. That's got to be, that's got to be probably Diamondback right there. Awful close to see that. Okay, babe, coming up on two minutes. With all of their problems, uh, they still... They're good observers they're I'm supposed close. to be on this scouting flight. They're taking a look at the ground as well. You can hear the breathlessness of these pilots, though. They're wearing their full spacesuits for these critical maneuvers. And it's not easy to work in them, as Cernan indicated a moment ago. Okay, two minutes, babe. Give her a final trim. Okay, there it is. Okay, my AELD's coming close, Tom. Okay, and verify your inverter number one breaker's closed. Okay, at 35 seconds, we want the engine arm to arm. And ping, we're in auto. Going right into the attitude, babe. That engine arm yet to go. Coming up on 112. I'll hit 99, I'll cut you down. Burn time is 15 seconds, so it's gonna go in a hurry. That's the length of time the engine fires, 15 seconds. 120 feet per second, 220.9. 15 seconds, 48. Maybe let's make this one. This is the one that sends them back out away from the moon's surface, back up to the 69 mile altitude where they can rendezvous and dock again. Three, five seconds. Engine arm is on, engine arm, ascent, axe control, and auto, dead band mirror, and we're set for this attitude on a burn. I'm counting down on 500. This 15 hey, second baby. burn will increase their speed 141 miles an hour. Both the, in the uh, command module Nine. are. Seven, six, 
go. This is a simulation. Go. You're running. You're running. 100 to go. 78 to go. 50 to go. 20 to go. Stand by, Tom. Okay, I'll know him out. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. You're the only round that Houston, he got the burn off. We're in good shape. Oh, boy. Okay, I can okay. be Congratulations to the city. Minus point three, plus point one. Maybe that, that made me feel better. Call up verb 82 when you get a chance. must have been some rocky ride they had there for a while. They're now, according to their computer aboard, in a 53.7 by 12.6 step feet mile orbit. Which is just about where yeah, they're supposed to be. Yeah, I thought all of a sudden that was, uh, that was great. Okay, when they start talking, I'll key down here and relay through you, over. Till you get them again. It's Houston speaking to Charlie hey, Brown, John Young. Right. Those communications presumably were being relayed to him, and he must have had some bad moments up there wondering if he was going to have to go through those maneuvers for which he's been training for two years to go down and try to pick them up uh, from their 13-mile high altitude. But now they are on the way back up to his altitude. They come up to... Uh, within 13... Uh, Brown, uh, Houston, uh, we recommend for your next maneuver you to load the DAP with a half a degree per second. We see point two now, over. They'll come up to within uh, right, about 15 ahead. miles below him, okay. below the command module, and then begin the series of maneuvers uh, to actually rendezvous and dock with him. Their next uh, firing of the engines is at 9.32 Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, that's uh, an hour and 44 minutes from now. Then there's some more maneuvers and finally rendezvous at 10.54 and docking at 11.19. We'll come back in just a moment uh, to go out to Grumman Engineering Aircraft and find out uh, uh, just what might have happened out there in those very tense moments as they were just 13 miles above the lunar surface. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 10 will continue in a moment. <laughs> 